Good day, everyone. Yeah, there's just a lot of things that are graphed in math, and circle is one of them. So that is what we're going to look into in this video. This is a graph of a straight line, and its equation looks like this. It is a linear function. Now, this is a graph of a parabola, and its equation looks like that. It's a quadratic equation. And in one of my previous videos, we learned that this is a graph of a higher degree polynomial function. And this is what its equation looks like. Now, what if it's a circle? What does an equation of a circle looks like? Let's see. So there can be two. Well, this is in center radius form. You see, equations can be written in many forms. But what we're going to talk about today is the equation in center radius form. Okay, so there are two. The first one is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. This is the equation of the circle if the center of that circle is on the origin. Okay? But if the center is not on the origin, then the equation will look like this. Okay, so the quantity x minus a squared plus the quantity y minus b squared is equal to r squared. That is the equation of a circle with a center on any point on the Cartesian plane. Okay, so in the next slide, let's try to illustrate the equation of a circle in center radius form. Let's see. Okay, so number one, write the equation of a circle with center at the origin and radius 8. It was specified here that the center is at the origin. So the equation will be looking like this. x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So given na, na yung center is origin and the radius is given as 8. So we can just copy it. Okay, the radius is 8. Here, r is the radius. And so the radius is 8. We're just going to copy 8. We replace r with 8 and we square it. And so we can actually simplify this. So this is the equation of the circle that is talked about in number 1. Let's proceed to number 2. Write the equation of a circle with center at 5, negative 2, and radius 4. Since the center is not on the origin, we are going to use this equation. You see, according to definition, A is the x-coordinate of the center, and B is the y-coordinate of the center. So this is the center, this is the x-coordinate, this will be A. Negative 2 is the y-coordinate, that will be B. So those are the things that we're going to substitute in this equation. I hope you're following. So x minus a, instead of a, we replace it with 5 plus y minus b. But we have a b, and b here is negative 2. Is equal to, instead of r, since the radius is given as 4, we copy 4 in place of r. Now let's simplify because it looks messy. Here, negative times negative, that's positive. So we become y plus 2 is equal to 4 squared is 16. So there you have it, guys. The equation is now looking neat and clean. Okay, so this is the equation of the circle with center at 5 and negative 2 and with a radius 4. But what if the equation is given and we are asked to um, determine the center and the radius? Just like this. Okay, so here we're going to find the center and the length of the radius of each circle. So number 3, the equation is given. Uh, we are going to identify the, the coordinates of the center from this equation. So actually, mas madali. So this is the reverse process of what we did in the previous slide. So what we're going to look into are the numbers that are here, okay? 
So before we get the coordinates of the center, we have to rewrite the equation in this form. Okay, so as you can see here, x and 6 are separated by addition, but in this form, it should be separated by subtraction. So we can actually rewrite this in a way it will look like it's subtraction. Just watch. <laughs> so this will become x minus. How are we going to uh, rewrite this so that it will be equivalent to x plus 6? So we're going to write it this way. Gets. Okay, why do we have to do that? Because what we need is a, and that for us to get the x coordinate, it should be subtraction and not addition. So here, the center is at, this is our a. Since this is separated by subtraction, we can easily get 3 as our b. So the center will be at negative 6, 3. Gets booba. Negative 6, that is the x-coordinate of the center. And 3, that is the y-coordinate of the center. Now, what about the radius? So in this form, the radius is squared. So here, the radius is already squared, but what is the number before it was squared? Complicated much? So this is the easiest way to get the radius. Just take the square root of the number here, okay? Whatever the number, you just take the square root. So the square root of 100, the radius will be 10. So the center is at negative 6, 3, and the radius is 10 units. Understood? Hmm, maybe you're still confused. Let's go to the next example. x squared plus the quantity y plus 9 squared is equal to 81. Okay, so here x squared lang siya. So it is similar to this one. We can say that the x coordinate is 0. But what is the y coordinate of the center? Since this is plus, we read it this way, y minus negative 9 quantity squared. What is that number after the minus sign? That is negative 9. Okay, so the center is at 0, negative 9. And so the radius, okay, so what did I say? You just get the square root of the number that is here. Okay, so 81 is that number. We take the square root of 81. The radius is, what is the square root of 81? It's 9 units. So the center of this equation is 0, and negative 9, and its radius is 9 units. Okay, now what if they have given you the graph and you are asked to determine its equation? This is easy, you just have to determine where the center is located and you just have to count the number of units from that center to any point in the circle to get the radius. So this is the center. So in the first uh, graph, we can see that the center is at the origin. So if the center is at the origin, the equation will look like this. Okay. But the thing that we just need to get from the graph is the radius. We have to know the length of the radius. We just have to count the number of units from the center to any point on the circle. So this is the easiest point, you know, para mabilang natin yung kung ilang units yung from origin to, to any point on the circle. So that is actually 6 units. So the radius here is 6 units, but we have to square it. So now the, the equation of the circle is... Okay. okay. So that's what we're going to do. For the second graph, the center is not on the origin. So we have to determine that point. We have to determine the coordinates of the center. Okay. So I hope you can see it. So the center is located at what coordinate? That is um, negative 2, negative 2. That is on the third quadrant. And the radius here is uh, what? 
Okay, so we are given here a guide. So that is negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. We just have to count from negative 2 to negative 5. That is 1, 2, 3. That is 3 units from the radius to this point. So now that we know the center and the radius, we can now write its equation. That is x minus a squared plus y minus b minus squared is equal to r squared. So we replace the a and the b with the x and the y coordinate of the center. So we are going to replace a with negative 2. Sorry, I'll just left my y is equal to b divided by negative 2 as well. Sorry, Sorry I'm blocking it. I'll just move. <laughs> and the radius here is 3. Which is substitute 3 and then square it. And to write the final equation, it's 3 squared, this one. It's 3 squared, so that is 9. Oh, this is the equation of this circle. Is it difficult? Actually, it's very easy. You just have to identify the center and the radius. For the radius, you just have to count, or you can always use the distance formula. Okay, so um, that's it for today. If you think this video helped you understand the equation and the graph of the circle in center radius form, please subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Bye.